MPs in Ukraine have backed a new government led by Parliamentary Speaker Volodymyr Groisman, after weeks of political uncertainty. MPs voted by 257 to 50 to approve Mr. Groisman's appointment and accept the resignation of his predecessor, Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Mr. Yatsenyuk announced he was stepping down on Sunday. His government had faced accusations of corruption and inability to implement reforms. The Western-backed reform program of his government has stalled in recent weeks and several high-profile reformists have left the government. Economy Minister Ivora Zubramavisias resigned more than two months ago after accusing the government of lacking commitment to end corruption. Mr. Groisman told Parliament, together we will make Ukraine successful. An ally of Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko, he will now be under pressure to continue Ukraine's EU-backed reform program, the BBC's Tom Borage reports from Kiev. However, no cabinet positions have been given to foreign technocrats brought in by the previous government to tackle Ukraine's endemic corruption. Among the key names missing are those of us-born former finance minister Natalia Yatersko and her advisor, Slovak politician Ivan Miklos. Exactly two years since the war in the east of Ukraine began, the battle for political reform in Kiev has entered a new phase, our correspondent reports. Mr. Poroshenko addressed Parliament ahead of Thursday's vote. He responded to critics who claim he himself is an obstacle to real change by saying his government would remain on a path towards greater European integration and continue to fight corruption. Mr. Yatsenyuk's loss of parliamentary support led to him being asked by President Poroshenko to resign in February. Although he survived a vote of confidence, he remained unpopular in opinion polls. The International Monetary Fund has threatened to withhold aid money if Ukraine does not carry out reforms. Ukraine's ambitions to join the EU also suffered a setback on April 6 when voters in the Netherlands rejected a landmark EU trade deal with the former Soviet state in a non-binding referendum.